there's going to be 25 watt fast charging and Apple will be very happy to sell you a 25 watt fast charging adapter. You're welcome. So year after year, some of the most highly requested and highly demanded smartphones are iPhones. iPhone users have fallen in love with Apple's mixture of hardware and software, and they just can't get enough of that apple goodness, so to say. But also, each year we get new rumors and new leaks regarding the forthcoming iPhones, and this year is no different. So here's everything we know about the forthcoming iPhone 13. Starting with what is unarguably the biggest change in my opinion, the display. Since 2019, high refresh rate displays have been making themselves more and more mainstream and with the last year's iPhone 12 models, we expected to get at least a 90Hz refresh rate display, but Apple decided to stick with the regular 60Hz. Now, rumors have it that this year's iPhone 13 series will be coming with a high refresh rate display on all of the models. So Apple are rumored to have reached an agreement with Samsung who are going to produce their LTPO displays, which will achieve this 120Hz functionality. Now, people always wonder, why exactly is 120Hz such a big deal? And is it a necessity for you to enjoy your smartphone? Not really, especially when it is an iPhone, because the user experience is quite smooth already, so I would not say it's a necessity, but at this point, since it's already mainstream, it is just going to improve the user experience immensely. Just imagine the ProMotion displays of the iPad Pros on your iPhone. Amazing, right? Now, one caveat of high refresh rate displays is they do hit the battery a little bit, but apparently this might also be an adaptive high refresh rate display, so it is only going to be running at 120 hertz when you are consuming compatible content. And when you are not doing that or you're not using the phone, it is going to scale back to a regular frame rate to preserve battery. Also rumored to be coming to the iPhone 13 models is going to be an always on display similar to that on the Apple watches. But this is rumored to only be coming to the higher models, the Pro models like the 13 Pro and Pro Max. We're not sure if it's going to feature on the normal 13 or the 13 mini, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Now, always on display is a feature that has been on several Android phones with OLED displays for several years now. And the fact that Apple is finally jumping in on this feature means that they've probably discovered a way to revolutionize it, quote unquote, or at least say that they revolutionized it. This is also going to help out with battery quite a bit as one of the reasons people unlock their phone so often is just to check the time or the notifications. So they're going to cut back on the number of times they turn on their display if they can always see their time and the notifications even while the display is turned off. And speaking of battery, the iPhone 13 models are rumored to be coming with increased battery capacity as well. There is rumored to be a minimum of a 10% battery increase across all the models of the iPhone 13, which means that the iPhone 13 mini will be coming with a battery cell of 2400 milliamp hours, the 13 Pro and probably the 13 will be coming with 3100 milliamp hours, and the 13 Pro Max will be coming with 4350 milliamp hours, which is actually quite good as the battery performance of the 12 series while good still left quite a bit to be desired. Now still on the matter of battery, it seems like Apple have discovered a new heat dissipation technique as they are also rumored to be increasing the maximum charging capacity of the iPhone 13 models to 25 watts. So we're going to have proper 25 watt fast charging as opposed to the current cap of 20 watts on your iPhone. Also rumored to be coming to the iPhone 13 series is the addition of reverse wireless charging, which is a feature that was introduced with Samsung devices back in 2019, which means that you will probably be able to charge your AirPods or your Apple Watch using the back of your phone. Now, knowing that a lot of people use their iPhones for the entire day to do intensive tasks, I doubt that you might actually have that much battery to spare to charge other devices. But if it's a feature that you've been looking forward to, then hopefully Apple will deliver with the iPhone 13 series. Now with every new generation of iPhones, one thing that accompanies them is a new generation of chipsets. Last year we had the A14 Bionic chip and this year we're looking to get the A15 Bionic chip or if Tim Cook decides to be crazy once again, put the M1 chip inside of an iPhone. Which is highly unlikely, but still possible, you never know what's going on in Apple. But yeah, with the new chipset we're expecting to get a 15-20% to 20 increase in efficiency on the iPhone, meaning that we're going to get even better performance than that on the A14, which is currently best in class when it comes to chipsets, and we will probably get even better battery efficiency, meaning that your battery should last longer. Now, when it comes to the build quality, taking a look at the renders and dummy units of the iPhone 13 series, we can see that not much has changed from that of the iPhone 12. We still have our squared off design, we still have our boxy edges and so on and so forth. But the biggest change that you can notice comes with the camera module. Now, the camera 
unit seems to be significantly bigger than that of the iPhone 12 series. And this could mean a couple of things. It could mean we are getting bigger sensors or better lenses, or better yet, rumors have it that we're going to get sensor shift stabilization on all models of the iPhone 13 series. Now, this is something that was introduced on the iPhone 12 Pro Max alone with the sensor shift technology, but now it is rumored to come to every model on the iPhone 13 series, which would explain the change in design of the cameras of the iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 mini, as now the lenses are diagonal to one another. The addition of the sensor shift stabilization actually seems to make a lot of sense, as Apple have been rumored to be doubling down on improving their video quality or their video recording quality on all of the iPhone 13 models. So. We expect better video performance from the iPhone 13 series as well. Now, when it comes to storage, apparently all of the iPhone 13 models are going to come with a base storage configuration of 128 gigabytes, which is actually great because I mean, 64 gigabytes in 2021 actually seems to be quite small for a flagship device. So 128 gigabytes of base storage would actually be awesome. And then the biggest headline of them all is there is rumored to be a one terabyte storage configuration for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, knowing just how big 4k video files are and even just taking normal pictures can be one terabyte of internal storage on your iphone seems to be quite great you know um i believe this is actually going to be very good for those who love to create content with their iphones but the problem is how much is it going to be now let's go right into the pricing so when it comes to the pricing apple are actually being surprisingly quite competitive as the iphone 13 mini is rumored to start at 699 the normal 13 starts at 799 the 13 pro starts at 1049 and the 13 pro max starts at 1149 now taking a look at just how expensive flagship devices have gotten in 2021 these prices are quite sensible but then, like I said, I'm not sure just how much the maxed out one terabyte version of the 13 Pro Max, for example, is going to be, but we can keep our fingers crossed that it's not gonna cost us a kidney. Now, some things are still unclear to us. For example, if the iPhone 13 series will be coming with a USB-C connector or a lightning connector or no port at all, but rumors heavily lean towards it coming with still the lightning connector. And like I mentioned earlier with the fast charging, yeah, that 25 watt fast charger is not coming in the box. So just, have that in mind that there's going to be 25 watt fast charging and Apple will be very happy to sell you a 25 watt fast charging adapter. You're welcome. And also it seems like Apple have a specific audience when it comes to the iPhone 13 series as a lot of people were reluctant to upgrade to the iPhone 12 or even the iPhone 11 series due to the financial situation caused by the lockdown and so on and so forth. But now that the global situation is starting to normalize a little bit and people are able to get their jobs back and start earning a bit more money, they might be able to afford to upgrade their devices finally. So apparently, there are about 250 million people who are still using iPhone 10s and older, and these are the people that Apple are targeting with the iPhone 13 series. So Apple are rumored to have increased production of the iPhone 13 series by about 20%, so we're expecting about 90 million units of iPhone 13s this year. So if you're someone who still has an iPhone 10 or 10s, maybe an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 7, and you're looking at upgrading, just hold on for a little bit longer. When the iPhone 13 series comes out, you're going to be able to upgrade to that and enjoy the new benefits of having the newest iPhone. If you have an iPhone 12 or an iPhone 12 Pro or Pro Max, or even any of the iPhone 11 series, I would personally advise you to still hold on as none of these rumors are written in stone and some of these things might still change, but these changes will most likely 100% come in the iPhone 14 series if they don't come right now. The iPhone 11 series and the iPhone 12 series are still good enough to carry you through 2021 and into 2022. So my personal advice, hold on to your iPhone 11s, hold on to your iPhone 12s. Let's see what the iPhone 13s bring to the table. And if you like it, then you'll get the iPhone 14, if that makes sense. It's not financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. But let me know what you think about the iPhone 13 series in the comment section right below the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more iPhone 13 related content and you can check out my iPhone and iPad related content on the screen right now. My name is Johannes. This is Tech PhD where we'll talk about everything tech for everyone. Peace.